Hello, it is Monday, August 1st, 2022. I'm Chris Ramo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is, of course, a new month today, so the Patreon campaign has ticked over. And if you have been waiting for that to happen, to go check it out and see if you're interested in becoming a patron, um, perhaps now's the time. And this timely edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alex, Laura Saxon, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for which they will receive the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, or they already have, presumably. And um, thank you to everybody who has backed the Patreon campaign at any level for which uh, the, they will receive all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And so... If you'd like to use this opportunity to examine those rewards yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or follow the link in the description field underneath the video. And you could also join the daily solve discord chat server. There's a link in the description field to that as well. And it is a nice, friendly community of fellow solvers. So consider that and consider subscribing to this channel and liking the videos, and doing all the YouTube things that YouTube people ask you to do when you watch YouTube videos on YouTube. Uh, all right, let's get on to today's puzzle. It is a Monday puzzle, of course, so it shouldn't be very taxing. And it was constructed by Garrett Chalfin, a debut constructor. We've had a fair few debut constructors recently, and today's is another. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. All right, expressed displeasure as for an opposing team, I would say would be booed. Let's check the crosses. German luxury cars, maybe it's not booed. Oh, no, it is BMWs. Sorry, of course, BMWs. And Honolulu's island would be the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii in the United States. And Great Plains Tribe. I assume that's going to be Oto. Let's look at the cross here. Yes, to take somebody to court is to sue them. To whom you might cry ahoy. You might say ahoy, matey. Let's see. And, oh, this will probably be thematic. Input for a barista's grinder. Oh, is it just whole coffee beans? Hmm. I would assume it would need to be pluralized. Whole coffee bean. Oh, and we have... We have shaded cells as well. Okay, interesting. Is this eel? Yes, a reef predator would be an eel, so there we go. And a textile factory container could be a dye vat, maybe? A vat of dye for dyeing clothes? or cloth, I guess, whatever is being produced at the textile factory. So payment app whose name is now a verb. Venmo is a, oops, Venmo is a payment app. Okay, sorry, so what is going on? Input for a barista's grinder. Maybe it is a singular bean, I don't know. Underneath, below, oh. Oh, maybe a whole bean coffee. There we go, that's a way to create that phrase without needing it to be pluralized because coffee can be used collectively in this case. So we, we now have the word fee highlighted in our, um, in our shaded cells here. Don't know what that means yet, but it'll be thematic, I'm sure. Balanced disposition and rich soil. Rich soil is loam. And why, you little... The Walking Dead cable channel. Not sure. Frozen Queen. Elsa? That's one of the characters from Frozen. Disney film. And then Balanced Disposition. An even keel, maybe? You're keeping things on an even keel with, with your balanced disposition. And what baseball players, striking employees, and pet dogs each do. They all walk in different ways. Some metaphorically and some literally. Middle column on a calendar would be Wednesday. There we go. Why you little... Oh, maybe this is sort of... So, I don't know why I can't see my keyboard today. Uh, son of a. So that, that's a very, it's very well clued because each of these phrases, why you little and son of a, each of them leave off some, some implied word, some implied more insulting word. And so they're, they're, they're very equivalent in that regard. Okay. Oh, va va voom. That would be in the walking dead. Okay. So the walking dead must've aired on the AMC. It's a cable channel in the United States. And Silly Goose, O-U maybe? 
I'm not sure. Let's check the crosses. Actress Dunaway would be Faye Dunaway. There we go. And web designer's code HTML, hypertext markup language. Ceiling beams are rafters. And radio frequency letters would be AM, FM. Um, straightforwardly as that. And to have empath empathy for someone is to feel for them. So here, the four in the parenthetical, uh, the, the little parenthetical addendum to have empathy means we're applying for to both the answer and the clue. So you have empathy for, you feel for, and it just makes it a bit of a tighter match. Lumberjack's tool is presumably an axe. Let's check the crosses. Tennis is Nadal and formerly Rafa Nadal. Yep, recognize that name. And what's missing in blank Eric and blank press would be Amex, American Express, uh, the um, credit card and financial services company that often goes by Amex. So there we go. Okay, can you say more about that? Hmm. Hold tightly to, cling to, vowel quintet, A-E-I-O-U, I would think, quintet, a group of five, that would be what I would assume. Uptick in salary is a raise. Oh, so here's three, that's interesting. Oh, just three on a grandfather clock. Okay, thought that would maybe be something thematic, but no. So care to elaborate is, can you say more about that? Okay, so this makes sense. We have a fee, we have a rate highlighted, so charges, things that people are charged, fines or things that are levied or taxes. Um, maybe that maybe that third one will be levy, I don't know. Tiny could be wee, small. And a classic German camera, a Leica, is that, is that what that is? I think that's the camera. Here we have blank Abner, Lil Abner. I think that was a kind of early to mid-century American newspaper comic strip. And police officer is a cop. Cosa Blank Mafia, Cosa Nostra, as the uh, sort of Sicilian-derived mob is often called. Word that would seem to be a portmanteau of traveling groups, but isn't. Oh, troops, I guess. That's funny. Never thought, uh, I never, never would have occurred to me to turn that into, to sort of try and reverse engineer the etymology of that as traveling groups. But that's probably a thing people say, but apparently erroneously. Early blank, a morning person, is an early riser, of, of which I am not by instinct one. The complete set would be all, and a tactic employed by the Viet Cong, guerrilla warfare. Ah, so fair is the, so we have a fee, a rate, and a fair. There we go. And that will somehow, those will somehow connect to be something thematic. Sit-ups tighten them are your abs, ab muscles, your abdominal muscles, and Duke of Blank, title for Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Carne Blank, taco choice. Carne Asada. It's a beef, beef taco filling. And choir member, <laughs> member, choir, choir member. Wow, is a tenor. One of the one of the two male ranges in a choir. And to banish as from a country is to exile. Somebody. False god is an idol, and hypotheticals are ifs. Desserts with crusts or pies, perhaps? And the capital of Norway is Oslo, straightforwardly enough. A feline meme since around 2006. Lolcat, I guess. That's a, that is an, a vintage internet meme. The shining plot device that became significant when read backward would be red rum, read backwards as murder in The Shining. Um, also, Red Rum, the name of a very winning racehorse, historically. Uh, twosomes are pairs, and rock bottom is low something. Love with the... Love the... Hmm, I think I have something... Do I have something wrong somewhere around here? Can't tell. Love the... Hmm. Doesn't feel, something feels wrong. Let's keep looking around. T on a test would be true, true and a, a true and false test. Cus, uh, cuisine with pad CU would be Thai cuisine. 
and a high cost in New York and San Francisco. <laughs> Can attest to the San Francisco one of those. Rent The rent is high there. And first aid boxes, e.g. are kits, first aid kits. And compost mentis means you're, you're operating compost mentos, you're sane. And for shame would be tisk, 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 tisk. So here's our revealer. Classic game show or a hint to 1726 and 47 across. Fee, rate, fair. The, oh, the price is right, I guess. I don't really know what the... Oh, I see. <laughs> the price is literally located to the right of each of these clues. So our fee, our rate, and our fare, each of those could be said to be a price, I suppose, and they're all located to the right of the answers that contain them. Very clever. A nice little, um, nice clever little theme for our Monday. Things checked by TSA workers, they could check your identification, your IDs, and shoot could be darn maybe, that would sort of match the light very lightly profane nature, I guess, of this. I mean, profane is maybe even putting it too strongly. Now, where were we, you could ask? Leave in editorial, editorially is um, stet. You uh, you put that to um, indicate that you've made a correction and you actually want to undo the correction. You say, never mind, leave it in, stet. You don't delete it anymore. Rock bottom, oh, low point. Why didn't I see what that is? Oh, and then love is the L word. Okay, no wonder I couldn't. I couldn't find my way to that. Right. I was wondering what was going on. So the L word and low point. Okay. Popular fleece lined boots are Uggs. And the Rolling Stones blank erase. She's a rainbow, I think. Yeah. Online crafts marketplace is Etsy. And that come that is sort of becoming crosswordies almost. Uh, like a like a kindergarten room often would be messy, presumably. And uh, one who implores someone to do something urges. Oops, oops, oops. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. So there we have it. The Monday puzzle. I think that was a pretty straightforward puzzle. And we had a, a fairly straightforward theme. That was a sort of midway between the sorts of themes that you have to overtly solve and those that, that don't need to be. Because all of the, the three theme, primary theme answers are whole bean coffee with a fee care to elaborate with its rate and guerrilla warfare with its fare, those can simply be solved normally without needing to consider the theme whatsoever. But you do, I mean, I suppose classic game show unto itself would be sufficient to solve the prices right for a lot of people. But for the clue to make sense, you do need, for the, for the entire clue to make sense, you do need to figure out what's going on with the theme. Fortunately, it wasn't too complicated. And by the time we got here, we had already solved all of the component parts. And I think the rest of the grid went pretty smoothly. Didn't didn't run into much resistance, which is exactly what we would expect for a Monday puzzle. So there we have it. And now let's discuss a few clues from yesterday's puzzle. I did highlight a few this time. So uh, first off, actually, uh, Remy pointed out something important that I missed about the theme yesterday. Yesterday's theme answer was wise up to. And the theme involved moving the wise from one clue. So taking a phrase that involved a why, like combat ready, removing the why to make it combat read, and then moving the why up to another answer to create a new phrase by inserting a why. And I, when I read the revealer, which was wise up to, I just took it to me, you know, you put the wise up to the other answer. But Remy points out the Ys are not just going up to the previous themed answer. They're going up two squares. So Ys up two is very, very specifically mean the Ys are going up two, two cells. Very clever. And I completely missed that at the time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Andy Peppy replied and said, I noticed that too. And I was waiting for Chris to realize. Sorry about that. I didn't. I apologize. But thank you for pointing it out uh, in retrospect. Okay. And uh, Elon Aitan points out something about a clue that I didn't even notice. He says, I was about to be annoyed at 36 down for insinuating that Apollo is the god of the moon, but then I got the clue. It's referring to Apollo, the space program. So it referred to a, a, a god having something to do with the moon. And yes, that's a very good point. I kind of glossed over that without even really thinking about it. Um, Syrinx32 replied to say, same, I thought they had confused Apollo with his sister, Artemis or Diana, 
who both got syncretized with Helios slash Sol and Selene slash Luna, respectively. I'm a bit annoyed they didn't add a question mark at the end of the clue. I think that might have been a viable option here. Yeah, I think that's that's fair enough. Um, it was it, it did rely on a bit of a pun. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, Thor Christensen says, I think when you thought primeval meant pre-human, you may have been thinking of primordial. Maybe. Um, I think I, I actually, I looked up primeval after the crossword yesterday, and I think I just had a more specific de definition in my mind than maybe the word actually has. I think, as it turns out, primeval seems to be very vague, a very vague word that just refers to things that are extremely ancient, possibly dealing with the early phases of humanity or just anything primitive. I mean, it's it's very open-ended. And primordial, to me, I think of that as being the absolute beginnings of life on Earth, whereas I think of primeval as being maybe, you know, dinosaurs and things. So I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't say dinosaurs are primordial per se, but I would say they're probably primeval, but I don't know. I think primeval has a much wider latitude than I had maybe given it credit for. And finally, Michael Gerlach says, regarding 97 down, the clue about uh, those who might hold on to their caps, the answer was alums. And I was wondering, what does that mean? The graduates throw their caps in the air and the alums don't? I don't quite get it. Michael Gerlach explains, I think this makes sense. My interpretation was, alums might hold on to their caps as a memento. So they do throw them up in the air, but then they collect them and they take them home and they hold on to them as mementos. So that, that must be what was being implied. And that was all I had for Mystery Puzzle. So thank you to everybody who left comments. As always, I, I do always appreciate it. And thank you to you for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And welcome to the new month. Welcome to August. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, of course, with the Tuesday crossword. Should be another relatively approachable one with a relatively simple theme. And like I say, I hope you join me. Until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.